Hi everyone, Paul here with a video tour of my personal Evernote account for you. Um, I've actually been meaning to make a few more videos for my website. I've been blogging about productivity fairly consistently and I've just wanted to put out some really good quality content in the form of video and audio. So I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis. Uh, I've got a productivity podcast that I'm going to be launching very soon as well, which I'm really excited about. So there'll be uh, details about that coming up very soon in the next few weeks. Uh, but today I'm going to give you a tour of my Evernote account. I actually wrote a post fairly recently about how to get started with Evernote and I wanted to follow up with a tour of how I've set up my account, the notebooks and tags and things that I use to keep organized and how I structure my account. Uh, so that's what today's video is about. But as a quick side note, if you do need extra help with Evernote, obviously uh, go back to my blog post uh, as well. But um, I highly, highly recommend this great ebook, which I've just discovered called Evernote Essentials. And it's by a great guy called Brett Kelly. Now, Brett is actually a former Evernote employee. So he is an absolute master of Evernote and his ebook, I've, I've downloaded it, even though I'm fairly comfortable using Evernote, I really wanted to take a look. It's a fantastic resource and I highly, highly recommend it for anyone who needs a bit of extra help with Evernote. It's really cheap as well. I think it's on sale for like 10 bucks at the moment, normally about 30 bucks. So it's really good value. I'll put a link in this blog post um, or below my YouTube video where you can go and find that. So uh, anyway, on with today's tour. Let's take a look at my personal Evernote account. Right, well, here we are. We're inside my Evernote account now. And uh, I'm currently running Evernote version 6.09, and this is on Evernote for Mac as well. So if you use Evernote on a PC, it does look slightly different. I have used Evernote on a PC, and well, I do use Evernote on a PC, which is my work computer. But I'm at home right now, which is great, and uh, I'm on my Mac, which is awesome, because I love working on a Mac. And uh, yeah, I love the Mac interface, and Evernote looks beautiful on a Mac. So here we are, this is my Evernote account. Now then, I thought we'd start by taking a look at my notebooks, and I'll run you through um, how I've structured my notebooks. And notebooks, really, I see it as you know, when you're setting up your Evernote account for the first time and you're starting to clip notes into your account, setting up the right structure in terms of the notebooks you create and how they're laid out, I find is one of the most important things that you can do to really make sure that you're keeping everything organized inside of your Evernote account. And don't get me wrong as well, this is an evolving process. There's never really a, a perfect solution. There's no one size fits all. It really just comes down to what works for you and how you want to organize your your life, your work, everything that you've got going on inside of Evernote. And so this is uh, my notebooks as of now, but it's very likely that this will change possibly even next week as I tweak things. Even I might even just tweak the names. But I'll run you through each of my notebooks. So starting at the top here, home. Home refers to anything that I have, uh, any notes related to um, kind of like DIY projects around the house and stuff to do with the house in particular. You know, so DIY projects, maybe ideas of things I've seen online that I might want to make, um, often recording measurements because we do a bit of home renovations and I snap pictures of things and so um, I'll... Uh, grab some measurements of different parts of the house. And so you can see here, I've got some illustrations of um, the floor plan and stuff. We're looking at getting a new floor. So I've got these kind of notes inside my home account. I'll just go back. And so that's home. Mighty Ape, uh, Mighty Ape is where I work. And uh, so these are all of the notes related to my work. And I actually, I don't use Evernote a huge amount for work just because we use a lot of Google Docs and things uh, because we work in a team and Google Docs is great for sharing. And uh, our work currently isn't set up on Evernote business, although I wish we were. Um, but so I, I do use Evernote um, personally a bit for work and creating work related notes and managing projects and things. And that's where they live inside Mighty Ape. Next, we have Muse. Now, Muse is a parent notebook, uh, which means it holds these next three as well. So these next three kind of fall with inside Muse. So Muse itself doesn't actually contain any notes, but when you look at Muse, it will contain all of the notes inside each of those three other notebooks. So it's a parent notebook. Now, why the term Muse? Muse is actually a term that I've borrowed from the four hour work week. Tim Ferriss is the four hour work week. And Muse is just a nice term that I like personally. And it's used to describe uh, like a passive income. And so I'm trying to build my side business, my, my blog, my website. And so I use Muse to describe it because it's not a full blown business, but um, it's kind of a, a side business. 
Now, Muse Archive, this is where I store any notes that are from old projects that uh, I've worked on in the past. Uh, I had a go at building a few apps a few years ago, and so there's a few of those kinds of notes in my archive, and it's just things like I didn't want to get rid of, and so they now live in my archive. But they actually used to have uh, live in different notebooks, um, but I've since gotten rid of those notebooks, but I still want to keep the notes in a more organized place. And so this is kind of a, a combination of notebooks have been merged into this archive. Next, we have productivity business. So this is everything related to me building my productivity business. Um, so planning the products that I'm making, uh, writing blog posts, things like that, uh, drafting ideas, planning out um, things, uh, you know, marketing that I might be working on. So that's everything related to the businessy kind of aspect to what I'm doing and uh, with my website. And then the next notebook here, website, is the technical side of everything that I'm doing. So it's stuff related to my website in particular, and it's where I actually keep uh, copies of a lot of the different codes and things I have on different pages for things like email sign-up forms and some of the custom CSS I have on my site to style different parts of the uh, of the site in unique ways. I just kind of have a little backup of code uh, in, in that notebook as well. Next we have notebook. Now notebook is kind of just like a, a default a default notebook. It's actually, I've never changed this. No, you come with a default notebook when you create an Evernote account and I've, I've never gotten rid of it really. And so notebook is kind of for all of my personal notes that don't really fit into any of these other categories. And so if we have a quick scan through here, this is things like, um, uh, I've got a note of books that I want to read, knee exercises, because I had some problems with my knees last year after doing some running, uh, some cool icons that I saw on the web that I just wanted to remember, I just wanted to capture those, receipts and things, uh, yeah, receipts all live in my, um, in my notebook as well. Moving on to the next notebook, oh, back, 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 and we have another parent notebook called Resources. Now, the two notebooks inside of here, we have business resources and productivity resources. And by resources, I mean it's generally articles and blog posts that I find online that I really like. And I don't want to bookmark them, but I, I do want to kind of refer to them later. I, want to, I might want to read them again. I just don't want to forget about these really good articles that I come across. So I clip them to one of these notebooks. So business resources are just really good kind of businessy articles, either related to um, uh, kind of marketing and online advertising, building websites and things like that. Just really good um, kind of blogs that I've come across in the past. And I've gotten a lot of useful tips from just coming back to these notes and just scanning through this, this notebook and trying to find new ideas of things I can try. And often I will just, uh, you know, scan through my notebook and I'm like, oh yeah, that was a good article. I do need to try that. And so I'll kind of come back to it. Um, oh, and I'll just go back to my notebooks now. And then productivity resources. This is where I keep productivity articles that I've read that I want to come back to later. There's lots of really good advice online. And I'll just use this as kind of a, um, a just, yeah, somewhere to store all of those great productivity articles that I read. And again, you can kind of just come back to them, pick up ideas for a blog post or something. Um, and yeah, that's where those live. And then finally, we just have the trash, and that's where um, any trash notes go. They live there, so you can always recover them if you want, and Evernote gives you the option to empty that if you like. And so those are my notebooks. And as I said, this is this is a, um, a structure that's evolved over a period of time. I strongly recommend you use these nested notebooks, these parent notebooks, as it's a really great way of kind of uh, categorizing a group of notebooks together that are similar. Um, it's just a great way of keeping those kind of things organized. So moving on, I wanted to touch on tags. Now I have a lot of tags here. Um, I regularly kind of, I'll go through and curate these tags as well. So I might look at them and go, mm, I don't really use that tag very much. I might delete that now. Um, but tags are a great way of um, assigning context to your notes um, between notebooks. So for example, if I pick out a couple here, um, article here, any blog post or article that I clip from the web gets tagged with article. And so obviously I have my productivity resources and business resources and they both contain articles. And so I can kind of um, go uh, on the articles tag and get a summary of every single article that I've clipped, assuming I've given them all the tag. Um, a couple of key tags that I wanted to point out are these three here. And uh, I tweeted about this recently and I, this is kind of my personal 
Kanban system that I've set up inside of Evernote. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Kanban is a system where it's, it's a way of controlling your workflow so that you don't commit to too many projects at once. So this is how the process works. When I have an idea of something I'd like to do, and I've committed to it, I've said, yep, I need to do this thing, um, it goes into my to-do tag. When I'm ready to work on that thing, it goes into my doing tag, this one here. And that has a, the rule here is that I can only have five notes in here at once. And so I've called it max five. You can see there in my shortcuts. Um, I've called this max five. So I can only have five active notes in here at once. And these are just, these are just active projects or active um, ideas that I'm working on. When I complete an idea, it gets moved into done. So this is the final one here. And this is just a nice way of, um, a nice way of kind of keeping a reference of those notes that have gone through your system really. And so the great thing about this system is if there's something new that you want to start, but you already have five notes in here, you're forced to kind of either drop one of these projects and say, no, I'm not going to continue that. All right, it's time to put that to bed or actually finish some work, you know, and, and put one of these, um, just finish off one of these ideas, finish off one of these projects. And so that's the beauty of this system is it really controls how much work you take on at once, assuming you can be disciplined with the process. Um, but yeah, these are some tags that I set up not long ago. Um, I'm not totally committed to using them there. I'm still kind of semi-trialing this. It's, it's working pretty well. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, summing up on tags, I mean, I, I recommend you try out these nested tags as well. So you can see here, I've got this marketing tag, which contains a lot of sub tags as well. So I've got email marketing, uh, branding, affiliate marketing, things like that, which all live inside of the main marketing tag. And similar to notebooks, this is just a nice visual way of um, organizing things. My biggest tip with tags, when you create a note, is just try and spend some time working out what tags are relevant to that note. What this means is when it comes to actually searching later and finding similarities and links between different ideas and projects, it's very quick and easy to make those connections. And so this is kind of what Evernote uses to create this kind of sense of context between your different notes. Um, and it's handy as well if you want to say, look at, okay, I want to look at all of my articles that are also related to uh, Evernote. And um, you can show the 11 notes that I've clipped that are have both the Evernote tag and the article tag. So it's a really nice way of drilling down in terms of um, finding a specific piece of content that you're working on. And so that's tags. Now, the final thing I wanted to run you through, which I find really useful in my Evernote account, is this, this menu here, the shortcuts. So this is where you can basically favorite any note, tag, or even notebook for very quick access. And you can access these quickly on the mobile app as well. And so I favorited a couple of important notes here. So I've got my notebook summary. Um, and so I've linked to key notes inside of my notebook. And so actually all of these links you see here are similar to a link you would find on the web, except they link to different areas of Evernote. So that's really cool. Um, I have things like some UTM tracking that I add to a lot of my social links. Um, and I want that for quick access when I'm posting to Google Plus or Twitter or something like that. Um, I have these appendixes as well. Uh, so, sorry, appendices, I should say. So this is a summary of every single note inside of my productivity resources notebook. And so I can kind of quickly scan this list for a specific title that I wanted to go back to. And it's just a nice kind of appendix of all of those notes that I've created. And then here I have that those Kanban tags that I talked about. Um, I have my book summary tag. So this is a tag where I can quickly get to all of the book summaries that I've written if I want to quickly go back and uh, refer to one of those summaries. Um, a tag to the website code for important parts of my website. So that's it. That's a brief look at my Evernote account. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Leave me a comment in this blog post or below the YouTube video. And um, I, I might even make this a habit and maybe I'll do like an Evernote tour every sort of three or six months and I'll show you the latest kind of tags that I'm experimenting with or notebook structure or something like that. But let me know if that's cool. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to more really great content coming your way very soon.